I am here in the capital, but we have 222 observers from other countries. We have also been joined by 45 members of the Parliamentary Assembly, members of Parliament, and together with the team from Tashkent and the long-term observers who are observing in all the regions, we are 316 people observing. This is the first time we have such a big mission in Uzbekistan. And the people, the observers are from 37 countries of the OSC region. An option that exists in some countries, uh, to tell you the truth, I have never seen it. Um, you can hold good elections without that option. When OCOD reported on the previous elections, the presidential election in 2016 and the parliamentary elections, they made recommendations and one of the recommendations was that this option uh, should be uh, possible. Uh, it is a recommendation because it is one of the OSC commitments to allow independent candidates. Uh, we have an electronic system that the results are coming in to computer in our office. We will draw our conclusions and we will present them to you together with our colleagues from the Parliament tomorrow at the press conference. I would like to add that the election observer according to the law and also our code of practice observes and takes note does not interfere so if we see something which is not in line with the regulations we put it in our observation we do not interfere